Hey guys, welcome back to Storybook Crochet. Today we are going to be making these little um, turkey legs for Thanksgiving. I made one with uh, like a girl bow and then one with like a bow tie. Um, so you're going to need uh, three different colors of yarn. You're going to need a light brown, you're going to need a cream or off-white color, and then whatever color you want for your bow. Um, you're also going to be needing a four millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a yarn needle, you're going to need some fiber fill and then you're going to need, um, I used 15 millimeter safety eyes for these uh, turkey legs. So let's grab all of those supplies and we will get started. All right, I also forgot to mention that you might want a stitch marker for um, this pattern just to help you keep track of your rounds. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with our light brown to make the, um, the main part of our turkey leg here. So grab that and we're going to start by making a magic ring. And if you don't know how to make a magic ring, you can always just chain two and then we're going to make um, six single crochets. So you would just put your six single crochets in that first chain. So if you're making a magic ring, you can follow me and do it um, that way. But we're going to make our six single crochets in our magic ring. Okay, once you have your six made, you're going to pull on that tail. And if you just did the chain two, you're just continue around from there to um, round number two. So for round two, we're going to increase around. So we're going to put two single crochets in each of these six that we just made. So you'll go into your first one and you're going to make two single crochets in that first stitch there and then continue to do that all the way around. So for round two, you will have a total of 12 single crochets. Okay, so at this point, I like to grab my stitch marker here and I put mine in the last stitch of each round. Um, some people put theirs in the first. It's really personal preference on where you wanna put that. So for round three, we're going to start off by putting one single crochet in our very first stitch here. And then in our second stitch, we're going to increase. So we'll put our two single crochets in the second stitch. And we're just going to repeat that pattern around. So in the next one, we'll put one single crochet. And in the next, we'll increase putting two single crochets. Okay, so just repeat that around, one single crochet and then increase. After round three, you will have a total of 18 single crochets made. Okay, so moving on to round number four, we're gonna do the same kind of pattern, but this time we're going to make one single crochet in the first two stitches. So one in the first one, one single crochet in the second one, and then we'll increase in the third stitch. Okay, so there's our first set. So again, you're going to do one single crochet in the next one, one single crochet in the next, and then increase in the third. And you'll just again repeat that around. At the end of round four, you'll have 24 single crochets made. Okay, so round number five, same concept. We're just going to do three single crochets this time. So one single crochet in the first three stitches. And then in that fourth stitch, we're going to make an increase. So again, three single crochets. And then increase in the fourth stitch. At the end of round five, you will have a total of 30 single crochets. All right, so moving on to round six, we're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're not doing any increases for this round. So by the end of round six, you will have, again, a total of 30 single crochets made. Okay, so round seven will be our last increase round. So for this one, we're gonna make four single crochets and then we'll increase in that fifth stitch. Okay, so there's the first four and then we're going to increase 
And then again, you're just going to repeat that around. So four single crochets increase in the fifth stitch. And at the end of round seven, you will have a total of 36 single crochets. All right, so for rounds eight through 11, you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So that's a total of four rounds. And for each round, you'll have, again, um, 36 single crochets made. So just one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off through round 11 and we'll meet back here and, and um, start round number 12 together. All right, so this is what um, your turkey leg should look like so far. So we're starting to kind of build down the sides now. So for round 12, it's going to be our first decrease round. So we're gonna start off by making four single crochets And then after we make the four single crochets, we're gonna decrease over the next two and I'll show you real quick how to do that if you're not familiar with that. So you're gonna insert your hook into your next stitch and pull your yarn up, okay? And then you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch and pull your yarn up. So you'll have three loops on your hook. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull it through all three of those loops. So we just turn those two stitches into one. So you're just gonna repeat that around. So four single crochets. And then decrease over the next two and I'll slowly show you that real quick. Okay, so at the end of round 12, you'll have a total of 30 single crochets made. Okay, so for rounds 13 and 14, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So for these two rounds, you will again have a total of 30 single crochets made. So I will meet you at the end of round 14. All right, moving on to round 15, we are going to start off by making three single crochets. And then we're going to decrease over the next two. So again, that's three single crochets and then decrease. At the end of round 15, you will have a total of 24 single crochets. After this round, we are going to put our eyes on, sew on our mouth, and we're gonna make these little um, highlights around the eyes. So you'll wanna grab your eyes, some a little bit of black yarn, and your cream color yarn. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put our eyes in. And you're going to want to put these in between rounds uh, 11 and 12. So you're going to start up here and count down 11 rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So in between these two rows, you're just going to pick um, one of the holes there and put your first eye in. Okay. And then you're going to want to have four stitches between the eyes. So just count 1, 2, 3, 4 and then place your next eye. And you can kind of count in between, and they're not gonna be like perfectly visible, but just kind of see where you want your placement at for those. And then go ahead and put the backs on your safety eyes. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line the eyes with these little um, highlights. And you know, that's optional. If you don't like the look of that, you can just leave the eyes the way they are but I like to line mine. I think it adds a little bit more character to it. So grab your yarn needle and your cream color yarn. And then I come up underneath the first eye here. And then I just bring it back down through the top. And then I come back up at the top of the second eye. and then pull that tight, kind of um, cinch it around the side of the eye there. And then you're gonna go back down at the bottom of the second eye. Okay, 
get your placement right and then kind of tighten that a bit. And then I just tie these off inside of the turkey leg. You don't want to tie it too tight because it'll cinch um, the front of your face together and you want it to be nice and even there. So just tie that off a few times and then go ahead and cut your yarn. Okay, and next we're going to sew on the mouth. So grab a um, small piece of black yarn. And I will show you real quick how I sew that on. So I'm just going to come up in the row above what we just finished. And I just do a little half smile, but you can do a full smile if you want. Either way looks cute, or you don't even have to do a mouth if you don't want one. Okay, and then come back down once you finish that off. Like that. And then again, I just um, tie that inside and then go ahead and cut that yarn. Okay, so that finishes off the face part for us. So let's continue on with round number 16. So I'm gonna grab my stitch marker here. For round 16 and 17, you're just going to single crochet around, just one in each stitch for those two rounds. And you will have a total of 24 single crochets made after both of those rounds. All right, for round 18, we are gonna start off by making two single crochets, and then we're going to decrease over the next two. Okay, so again, that's two single crochets, one and two, and then decrease over those next two. So repeat that around, and at the end of round 18, you'll have a total of 18 single crochets made. All right, so before we move on with the rest of uh, this uh, brown part of the pattern, we're gonna go ahead and fill this with fiber fill. So you'll wanna get it good and firm in there. And then after a couple, each couple rounds from here on out, you just wanna continue to add more so that it's completely filled when we get done with this part. All right, for rounds 19 and 20, again, we're just going to single crochet one in each stitch around. So for each of these two rounds, we're going to have a total of 18 single crochets made. Okay, so we just have two rounds left to go for this. So for round number 21, we're just going to put one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're gonna decrease over the next two. Okay, so again, that's one single crochet in the next stitch decrease over the next two. After round number 21, you will have a total of 12 single crochets made. All right, so round number 22 is gonna be our last round. For this round, it's gonna be a little bit different. So you can see on this one, it's got this um, pointed edging for the very bottom part. So we're gonna do that all in this round. So for this round, we're gonna be working in the front loop only. And I'm gonna show you what that means if you don't, if you've never done that before. So you can see kind of each little stitch has like a V to it. So normally we would work under both of those. We just insert our hook underneath both those stitches there. But for this round, we're just gonna go under that first loop there. So we just have one loop on our hook when we work in there. Okay, so this is going to be four series of stitches. So our first stitch in the series is going to just be in that front loop only we're gonna make one single crochet. In this next stitch, we're going to start off by making a double crochet. Again, under that front loop only, every, every stitch around is gonna be in that front loop only. So you're gonna make your double crochet. And then we're gonna chain two. And then we're going to slip stitch into that very first chain that we made there. Okay, after we make that slip stitch, we're gonna make another, another double crochet in that same stitch we've been working in. OK, 
okay and then in the next stitch under the front loop we're going to make another single crochet okay so each set of stitches is going to be a single crochet in the next stitch we're going to make a double crochet chain two slip stitch to the first chain and then make another double crochet all in that one stitch and then a single crochet in the next stitch okay so i'm going to show you that one more time okay so we're just going to repeat that so one single crochet okay in the next stitch we're going to make a double crochet then we're going to chain two then we're going to slip stitch to that first chain that we made and then we're going to double crochet in that same stitch again okay after that double crochet in the next stitch we'll make our single crochet okay so i've got that written at the top of the screen so if you need to read that just pause and you can finish the last two sets of those so there'll be four points total in this round after that we're going to finish this off and then we're going to go ahead and grab our cream color yarn so we can make the bone okay so this is what it should look like um, when you're finished with round number 22 so now we're just going to slip stitch in that next stitch or the first stitch we made from round 22 to finish this off so go ahead and pull your yarn up and we're going to leave our uh, tail a little bit longer for this because we're going to use that to sew these points down to the bone once we get that sewn on. Okay, so finish that off, set that aside. You are going to want to make sure that it you have filled it with all the fiber fill that you need up to um, this part, the just this round edge here. And then go ahead and grab your cream yarn and we'll get started on the next part. All right, so for the bone, we're gonna uh, make this first little part and finish it off and make a second one. So to start that off, start with a magic ring or a chain two, depending on how you're doing that. And then we're going to make five single crochets. Okay, so if you made your magic ring, go ahead and pull that tail closed. For round two, we're going to increase around. So put your two single crochets in each stitch. You'll have a total of 10 single crochets after this round. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in here. And for this first part, the last round we're going to do is we're just going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. So for round three, you'll also have 10 single crochets. Okay, so after you get in, you have to kind of pop that out so that the right side is facing out. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut this one. You don't need a super long tail for this, but go ahead and cut this and um, let's finish that off there. And I go ahead and cut this uh, middle tail here just to get that out of the way. We're going to set that aside and we're going to make that again and I'll show you that again real quick. Okay, so again, start off with your magic ring or your chain two and make your five single crochet. All right, once you have those five made, you're going to start round two and make um, five increases around so you'll have a total of 10 single crochets okay 
Okay, and for round three, you're just gonna single crochet one in each stitch around. So finish that off, um, Make finish the round three. Do not cut your yarn after this one. We're gonna use it to now connect to the first one that we made. Okay, so go ahead and put your stitch marker in that last one that you just made. And we're gonna grab this first one that we made. So in the next stitch that we would have worked in, we're gonna go ahead and insert our hook. Grab your yarn here. And we're just gonna make a single crochet into that first one, connecting the two together. Okay, so that's what that will look like. And then we're just gonna single crochet one in each stitch around this first um, part of the bone here. And that'll be a total of 10 single crochets around the first one. Okay, so once you get the first um, one crocheted around, you're going to go into that next stitch on the second one, and you're going to make your single crochets around. So it'll be another 10 single crochets. So with this round, you will have a total of 20 single crochets made. Okay, so before we move on, you'll notice that there's a hole in between the two because of the way we connected it. So we're going to take that tail from the first one we're going to use that to sew that shut before we move on. So I just come up through the bottom and make a few stitches to connect the two um, together so that there's no hole there. Okay, once you're happy with that, just kind of come up through the bottom there, poke that back through to the wrong side, and then just go ahead and cut that. Okay, so I'm going to replace my stitch marker here in that last stitch that I made. Alright, so now we're moving on to round five, and we're going to make start by making two single crochets. So one and two, and then we're going to decrease over the next two. So again, you're going to make two single crochets, and then you're going to decrease. So after round number five, you'll have a total of 15 single crochets made. All right, so for round six, this time we're going to make three single crochets in the first three stitches here. So one, two, and three, and then decrease over the next two. All right, so again, three single crochets and then decrease around. Finish that off around and you will have a total of 12 single crochets. All right, for rounds seven and eight, these will be our last two rounds. We're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around. So each of these rounds will have a total of 12 single crochets. So again, finish off through round eight, and then we're gonna finish it off, stuff it, and then we'll go ahead and sew it to our turkey leg. Okay, so we're just gonna slip stitch to that um, first stitch we made from our very last round, and you'll want to cut a longer tail so that we can sew it on. And you're gonna go ahead and stuff it completely, and then we will go ahead and sew it onto our turkey leg. Okay, so at this point, you wanna grab your turkey leg, and I just fold down um, the points that we made and we're going to sew onto the back loops that we left unworked for the last round of the turkey and we're going to take our bone here and make sure that you have it straight so that it looks correct when you sew it on you don't want it sideways like this so make sure you've got it in the correct position and then you're just going to sew around using those back loops so you'll just grab the first one you can find and then come up through the stitch on the bone. Okay, and then just pull your yarn up and you're just gonna do sew it on then that, um, that way the whole way around until you get 
the bone completely sewn on. Make sure that you weave those ends in when you're finished. And then we are gonna move on and make our bow. Now before we make the bow, if you want to sew down these flaps, just um, take your yarn needle and sew around each of them, sewing each of the points down. But you don't have to do that. You can leave it unworked too if you like the look of that. So um, do that if you need to, and then grab your color for your bow, and then I'll show you how to make that real quick. All right, I'm gonna use blue for this bow, for the um, this turkey leg I'm making. So we're gonna be working in rows for the, the bow here. So you're gonna start out Make your slip knot there and you're going to chain eight. Okay, once you have your eight made, we're going to start in that second chain from our hook and we're just going to single crochet across. So that'll give you a total of seven single crochets for each row that we're gonna do. Okay, once you get to the end of the row, you're going to chain one, and then you're gonna turn your piece over. And then you're just gonna single crochet across. And you'll do this same process for a total of four rows. So you'll have four rows of seven single crochets. So when you get to the end, go ahead and finish that off, and then I'll show you how to finish the bow off. Okay, so you're gonna wanna weave in both of those ends. Once you do that, you're just going to grab your yarn here and you're just gonna wrap it around the center um, tightly so that it cinches down and makes the bow shape that you're wanting. So you just have to do this a few times and you can adjust as you need to. Um, and then cut a long tail once you have it where you want it. You're gonna grab your yarn needle here Okay, and let's weave that through the back um, where we wrapped a couple of times. That just secures that so it doesn't come undone. Okay, and then we're going to use this tail to sew the bow onto our turkey leg here. So I'm going to use this one as a bow tie. So you're just going to come up through the back, grabbing a loop from your turkey leg. Go through the back of the bow here, and you're gonna do that a couple of times, and then you'll weave that in through the back of the bow when you're finished. And then that is the last part of our turkey leg. All right, so this is our turkey leg finished. I really hope that you enjoyed this pattern. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos that I have coming out. I've got a bunch of Christmas ones that I'm getting ready to publish, so you don't want to miss those. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you in the next video.